channel for those of you who don't know i am peyton and i'm charles and this is our little corner of the internet mm -hmm. um and today i know this is technically coming out a little after new year's but we just kind of wanted to do a little 2020 recap 2020's one resolutions video mm -hmm. kind of just talk about what our goals are for the new year and all that good stuff if you're struggling on finding good ideas you can always use ours if you think they're okay otherwise you can also use mine because mine set the bar pretty low so it's pretty you can you can do it you can do it um and we also made vision boards i made one last year and it was actually kind of wacky like the things that actually like came from it like she became a model yeah walked I, on the runway i put like a little picture of a runway model which i was like mainly thinking like oh i want to like improve my fashion and i ended up walking she improved in... it so much she became a fashion model <laughs> i walked a runway as a runway model which was pretty cool um but yeah so hope you enjoy the video and we're gonna get into it okay so a little recap of 2020 we're not gonna go into too much detail because i feel like this year, I think it's important to appreciate your accomplishments, but also like just surviving the year in general is accomplishment enough. Yeah. And I don't think it's really necessary to come on here and be like, look at all I accomplished. Right. That like, so-and-so didn't like, I don't feel the need to do that. Mm -hmm. um, you do have to brag about Chappelle though, you should do that. Okay, I guess I can brag about Chappelle. Um, So I guess just like a couple, we'll talk about a couple things we're grateful for. I mm -hmm. mean, freaking found him in a pandemic. That's so also that's what I was cool. gonna mention. Mm -hmm. Right before the pandemic started, I guess. Our first date was the day before spring break when campus is closed. Right. So our relationship is about as old as the the lockdown was. Right, yeah. <laughs> um, because, like, we went on a date, and then we weren't sure if we were dating, and then... We were like, we'll take it slow. We don't and then have to know. I was like, let's go. Pedal the metal. Because then it was us FaceTiming every night, and we were like, this is silly not to be dating. Right, <laughs> like, right. Um... But I guess other things I'm proud of, the fact that we freaking survived the semesters. True like, mm -hmm. we survived a semester that was like 90% online. Lots of stress. Lots of stresses. This semester, this year in general, just really gave us a lot of- A lot of humdingers. Yeah, it kind of was, it was a rough one. Not mm -hmm. gonna lie. But we were talking about it yesterday. Like, Every bad day we had, we have survived. We met, we're here. We've we made are it. here. We've we done it. Here. So that's something to be proud of. Um, Shepep, the thing he's talking about, um, I got into a intensive pre-dentistry program that Heck I did. Yeah. Um, sadly, had to be moved all online because of COVID. But you know, I did four weeks of like eight to five classes preparing, preparing to be a dentist. Heck yeah. Um, what about you, Bubs? Um, I went on a great backpacking trip trip this summer. Um, I went up to uh, well, Pristine Lake, Pristine Lake in the Zirkel Wilderness area. Whew, wonderful! We would just watch the sun set just on this lake. There was like a mirror. So much fun, wonderful stories, good times. Um, I met her, which was fantastic. Not at the lake. Uh, not at the lake. That was <laughs> that would have been interesting if I met my girlfriend just like in the woods. Anyway, um, but then what else? Is there anything? We there? gotta have like a couple of cute trips where we gotta come visit each other. Mm -hmm. Those were fun. Those um, were really, really fun. We took a little COVID. We really tried to do a lot with the circumstances. Mm -hmm. We went out and visited friends in boulder yep that was a lot of fun and we, it was literally we never left our apartment once yeah. i think we went on one walk maybe but like it was just, really interesting because that was the time where boulder like if you were in bigger than a group of two you could be fined. fined so so yeah we just went there and we hung out they hadn't left their apartment in like two weeks and then yep. we came back and got tested and we were fine 
Um, we've survived many a COVID scares yep. from just happenstance. Not yeah. really COVID scares. We only had one COVID scare, but we have been COVID negative this whole time, which yeah. is pretty. Which that's an accomplishment. That an accomplishment. Um, I mean, yeah, you joined your I, fraternity. Yeah, I did join my fraternity. Uh, that's lots of fun. You have a new fancy job. At yes. A law firm. I've got. I'm working for. Uh, a law firm that represents um it's like a, similar to the public defender's office um that's good working on his future as a lawyer mm-hmm mm -hmm. helping people who don't have a voice and um i feel like there's is there anything big I'm trying to think i mean I don't know, like I said, it's just kind of cool that we've made it this far. Right, yeah, and uh, I'm just really excited for the next year. Very honestly, optimistic. Which is crazy. I know. But yeah. Happy New Year, everybody. We're going to put up our vision boards we made this year and just let you see them. Um, ours are both very different. Yeah, <sighs> hers, hers is, is like good and motivational and mine is... But esoteric yours, and nerdy but yours is focusing on things that bring you joy that's true which is a big thing for 2021 we want to bring a lot of joy into our life oh yeah okay so this is my vision board It'll be somewhere i'll probably just put it in for a bit mm -hmm. but basically as you can see i just want to focus a lot on fitness just bettering myself want to grow on youtube my goal is to get like a good camera this year at some point um want to study there's a dental student on there because I'd like to get my applications done in for dental school and maybe even in this year find out if I got into dental school. Um, you, will. you will. You will. I'll either find out in December of 2021 or in the beginning of 2022, which is pretty crazy. Um, but yeah, so basically just road trips, stuff like that, just little things that bring me joy. Right. And then next up would be his. Yeah, on mine I have uh, some anime things just because I like I want to focus on things that bring me joy, like anime does. Um, there's some there's a picture if I recall of some sparkling cider if you're under age and pizza on the beach. Um, just because I want to hopefully a, a goal is to just go out to a restaurant with my beloved <laughs> and not have to tweak anxiety brain about the amount of people not wearing masks because hopefully we'll be in a better spot. Um, also same kind of reasoning behind the little concert venue place. I want to go to a concert there. I think Red Rocks would be good because it's outside. Um, there's some Magic the Gathering hidden in there. Uh, it's because I want to keep being nerdy and yeah. And then Road Trip is on there and some studying things is on there like a library. I want to focus on my studies because although I didn't let my grade slip, this semester, I just want to keep that up and not let myself just like Mentally off. feel it. You're right. I feel like mentally we felt our homework a lot more, mm -hmm. even if grades weren't as much of a problem. Right. But yeah, so now we're going to get into our resolutions. Mine are a little bit more... In-depth and better. In-depth. Mine are very um, baseline. It's very baseline. So do we want to like go back and forth? Uh, sure, yeah. I'll have to go for a little bit longer. I have 10, he has 5. Um... We're being an ambitious queen this year, and we're really just like trying to go pedal to the metal, and I'm making him keep me to it, and I'm keeping him to his. Woo! So um, I'm making him by default take on some of my New Year's resolutions with me. Um, okay, so my first one going off of that is to create a health and fitness routine that I stick to most of the time. I think it's really important with resolutions to know that like it's not going to be an everyday thing. The I mean, yesterday I didn't even do the workout I had planned. We just went on a sled hike instead. It was it was kind of a workout. It was a workout. Fair. My it watch just... recorded 65 minutes of workout, and I didn't even, like, start my watch. So, but, like, yeah, just find one that, like, I enjoy and I can stick to for majority of the time. So my second is to start prioritizing self-care more and listen to what my body needs, less of what my mind tells me I should be doing. Uh, mine is shower once a day, no matter what. Um, sometimes, you know, I do like every other day, but I think um, I just need to do it because it helps me wake up. And sometimes I would forget and then I would get gross and I would not, I'm, I don't want to be a gross individual. So I just want to make sure I do it every day and not every other day. Number three for me is to turn in my dental school application as soon as possible. Um, it opens, I think, I'm pretty sure like 
beginning of June and so I my goal is to get it turned in within the first couple weeks of then so I can just get it over with and not have it sitting over my head. And then number four is to learn to say no and be okay with it because that is a problem. I overbook myself a lot which kind of ties in with the prioritizing self-care and just like not overbooking myself, filling my life with things that I want to do, not that I feel I should do. Right, shooting is a big thing. No. Um, I'm gonna do same thing, uh, brush my teeth twice a day and the, the more new habit is flossing once a day. I have a dream that one day I will go to the dentist and they will actually say, good job on flossing, Charles, because it's never happened. Like I've tried. I'm like, I'm telling them I'm flossing every day and they're like more flossing. So this is a baseline that I can build to more and more flossing because dang it, I'm going to hear a dentist tell me good job on the flossing. It's going to happen. Okay, number five for me is to paint the walls in my childhood bedroom because whenever I'm back there, I hate the walls so much. I think they look fine, but it's okay. It's just, it's it messes fine. up the lighting there so bad that I have to like film other places and it's just no fun. So that's a little summer project I think we're gonna tackle at some point. Number six is to stick with YouTube and let my channel grow by creating content that makes me excited like some of the videos you're seeing soon. Yeah. Um, we just started one today. That's gonna be like a two month ordeal that I'm excited we're for very that excited I'm for. Big pump, big pump. I think it'll be very fun. Uh, for me, I've got to work on the body and the mind. So I will uh -huh. be reading 10 pages a day. Um, I just started a book called A Long Time Coming, um, which is really interestingly written. Um, and I, I know there's a word for it, but it's like when the author writes a letter to someone instead of just writing straight prose. Um, and it's just about race in America, and, it, and it's a really good book, and I am excited to continue reading it. Alrighty, number seven for me is to drink enough water every day, no excuses. I feel like it's the easiest thing a person can do to make their body, like, happy and healthy. And right. it's so easily to just, it's so easy to forget, right. and I never drink enough water. But this guy right here from Christmas got me this cute little, like, fit planner that is kind of turning into my like self-care planner. So I have my like academic work planner and then my like self-care planner. So I'm tracking water in that and I'm gonna hit my water goal because there's really like no excuse not to. <laughs> it's kind of the easiest thing in the world. Right. And then number eight is to follow a skincare routine because I have never had one in my life. I just have never done it. I like wash my face. Literally, it's actually kind of pathetic how little I washed my face before this. Still but looks cute though. Now is the time to take care of it so it doesn't get worse off later on. See, personally, I want the opposite thing. I want the wrinkles, old, saggy, gray hair. Can't wait. I really like tea, and back in high school, there was a few years where I was just like the tea guy. Even my teachers would notice how much tea I drank. Um, so I want to get back into that, and I'm starting with just one cup of tea a day. Um, every day, I'm going to have a cup of tea. And so far I haven't messed up, but that's probably easy because I've only had to do it for one day. But one cup of tea a day, hydration, good taste, good for your mind. All right, number nine for me is to read 10 pages a day as well. And it has to be a book that we want to read. It's not like school, school books. Yeah, it's gotta be your own personal desire. So right now I'm actually reading the book I gave him for Christmas because he's not read it yet and he wanted to read the book his dad gave him. Yep. So it's the wise as explicit. Expletive? Same thing. I'm just I'm throwing another word out there. Okay. <laughs> um, I'll tag all the books and stuff down below that we're reading. Um, and the little planners I'm using and stuff like that, if you are interested. Number 10 is to go on one new date a month. Yeah. I feel like with COVID, it was really easy to just like get in the habit of doing the same little dates, mm -hmm. which are really fun. And like we had a lot of fun with it, but I think it'll be nice to just go on like have to use our imagination a bit on our dates. Right. And like as COVID lessens and the world opens up again, we'll have more options to like, because I don't think we've, we've never just gone to the movies. Like we've, we've watched things on Netflix together, like over Netflix watch party or whatever, but never like gone out to movies. And I don't want to do that again. It's fun. And Part have time. we ever like sat down in a restaurant? No, we did the Italian place. The Italian place. We've sat down in a restaurant like once. Or this is crazy. In like 10 months. It's insane. 
And then last one. For me, uh, she laughed at me because it's uh, this is the low bar I was talking about earlier. One cup of water a day. It's low, it's achievable. I'm also doing tea. And I think just for myself mentally, one cup of water a day is more manageable than the large cups of water that, like we tried to do this like 80 day six fix thing where you like six, you fix six habits of yours. And then we, we got, were, then, uh, then he got strapped. I and it kinda, got, it threw it everything threw off everything the off because I was on nurse duty for like a week. <laughs> yeah, she did a good job though. And I didn't die. And I did have COVID, so that was pretty sick. Yeah. Um, but yes, one cup of water a day, it's manageable. It could be a large glass. It doesn't have to be any particular amount, but a healthy amount of water. And those are our New Year's resolutions. Yep. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you want, go ahead and comment down below either like your favorite memory from 2020, your resolutions. resolutions. I'd love to hear them. I know he would too. Um, and I'd love to respond to them. <laughs> Maybe I'll take up another resolution. Who knows? There you go. Um, but yeah, be sure to subscribe, like this video, comment down below, join our little corner of the internet, and stay tuned for a lot more exciting content because, you know, we've been working pretty hard on content. I know. I'm really excited for the Disney thing. That'd be dope. Yeah, there's a sneak peek, I guess. Right. I haven't really talked about it yet. Should we though. release a sneak peek? There's an idea. Anyways. We'll give you a little hint. We have a project coming... Hopefully end of February, maybe early March. That has to do with Disney movies. So. Ooh, that's not a good angle for me. But yeah, have a, I hope you guys are having a great start to the new year. Right. And I believe in each and every one of you. Me too. It's going to be our year. It is our year to make it great because we are, we're done having a bad year. Yep. No more bad years. Saying okay, bye 2020 as Miss Alicia Marie would say. Toodles. Bye, guys. I said bye. I was like, guys. <laughs> <laughs>